So repeat happened again. Why again? Ugh, all right. Let's see what happened now. Breaking news. At Joe's Crab Shack, nice champ Von Champ got assaulted by some of General Guy's gang. Earl stayed out of it. Sadly, the footage has been- Wait! I have to censor for the assault of nice chance Von Champ and all for high on episode 9 at Joe's Crab Shack. So the footage may not be caught. I made this assault myself and I censored it. I may use it in video pad. So here we go. The crab. Not this. Oh my god. I'm a dead horse. seen anything like this and oh my god that was extreme now because of this some of general guys gang are more wanted sad wow nice temp on temp guys so it i didn't see a comment but let me guess did nice temp on temp died unfortunately since he refused to leave yes he died see i knew it i was right man that's embarrassing now 1587 then now 13 more until 1600. Oh my god! Almost 1600! Oh no! That's a lot! What was all that? Hurt? No, it's Temp from Temp died! What? Oh god, no. But hey, I wish I was the real life voice. Since no one got it right, I guess I got a question based on let's get started. Okay. What is it? What's 4011 minus 3050? Good question. Okay. Let me show you how it's done. The subtraction process gives the difference between the two numbers. It is the inverse of the addition operation. The notation used to describe the subtraction is minus. The subtraction process starts from the unit digit, then tens digits, the hundreds digits, and it continues the process towards the highest digit places. Here, 4011 is the minuend and 3050 is the subterrahend. Just like addition, we start at the ones place. In the ones place, 
1 minus 0 is 1. Now the tens place, in the tens place, uh oh, look at this, the digit on the bottom than the top. How are we gonna subtract a bigger digit from a smaller one? Sometimes this can happen. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, but it's not going to work like that, because the top might be smaller than the bottom which it gets confusing. So we can't do that, so we're going to borrow it. So even though the hundreds place have a zero, but, uh oh, there's both zeros on the hundreds column, now what? Once in a while, we have a situation where we need to borrow from the next number, but that digits is a zero, how can we borrow a zero, that can't be it, so instead borrowing a zero, we can borrow from two digits so instead of that column being 1 minus 5, it's 11 minus 5, so 40 from a hundreds place is changed to 39. So 11 minus 5 equals 6. Now the hundreds place. 9 minus 0 equals 9. Now the thousands place. Hey, look at that. Both digits are the same number, so 3 minus 3 is 0. So, 4011 minus 3050 is 961. Simple subtraction process. So that's the answer to that. Hope that helps. Thank you. But wait, how do you do that? This is because of step-by-step -step subtraction process. If the bigger number is bigger than the smaller number at the top, just borrow the one, and the number next to will be changed. If the digit in zero, don't borrow it. Instead, borrow from the next two digits. If there's two zeros, borrow from the next three digits. It doesn't matter if you keep including the next digits if there's multiple zeros in a row until you get a number to borrow. Well, that was pretty much explained. Thank you very much. No prob. What was that all about? It's the subtracting process. Okay. Well, I got a question. What's 4011 minus 3050? It's 961. That's right. See, I knew it. So smart. But too bad that nice champ on champ died.